Mortgage rates have more than, in some cases, doubled this year, of course, depending on your credit profile, et cetera. So people are calling for sort of the imminent demise of housing. Are they being too negative? I think so. I think it's fair to say that the increase in mortgage rates combined with the increase in home prices that we've seen are making homes much more expensive for buyers in the market today. Our estimates suggest that the cost of buying the median home that's for sale is up $820 or 65% from a year ago. So that is some sticker shock for buyers in the market, but homeowners are well qualified. We expect to see home sales continue just at a slower pace than we've seen over the last couple of years. You know, Justin, there's about 85 million millennials, 10 million more than the baby boomers. A lot of them are starting sort of that family creation age. Some of them even creeping up and they're 40 year old, dare I say. I mean, they want a home. They want to get out of Brooklyn. They need a yard for their kids, especially during the pandemic. But to Danielle's point, it's gotten a lot more expensive. Can housing remain strong even if prices don't come down or do prices have to come down because nobody buys a house based on the price. They buy it on the monthly payment. Sure. I think, you know, there's plenty of reasons to see that there's still some strength in the housing market despite rising mortgage rates. You know, although existing home sales have come down, you know, 5.41 is down almost 9% year on year. And that's still going to be one of the strongest housing markets over the last 15 years. And mortgage rates are still expected to rise. And even if we expect that number to come down and in from there, you know, you're still looking at one of the strongest housing markets. So I still think there's opportunities uh, that remain in the market. But but one more to you, Justin, the companies that you cover, the Anywhere Real Estates, the Compasses, the Redfins, I mean, they're telling kind of a horror story. At least the stocks are. So something seems disconnected. Yeah, I think there's definitely... Uh, disconnect. That's a good point. And when I mentioned pockets of opportunities, I'm referring to the the high uh, home sale prices. So, you know, $407,000 represents, you know, the significant increase. And that's kind of acting as an offset to the slowing existing home sales when we're talking gross transaction value, which is the key determinant in commission. So the question really remains, can home sale prices remain high and you know inventories are still low and days on market you know yeah. actually tick down from 17 to 16 so there is still strong demand and back of the envelope math would suggest that if home prices kind of level set where they are and they don't grow anymore which would be a far-fetched scenario you know existing home sales can fall to 5.2 5.1 and you're still looking at the same gross transaction yeah. value as 2021, one of the strongest markets, you know, ever. So the real estate brokers, you know, there's there's opportunity if you can find the, the companies that are going to gain share there.